Hey guys, this is Adam, Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. You may not know, but now you're going to know that we finally have in the all new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. Completely redesigned, so I'm going to try to highlight some of the points about this vehicle that's different from the other ones. Take away the dirt, I didn't have it washed because it literally just came off the truck. You're going to see here that the front end is a total redesign. Um, you're going to hear me say this a lot, so just kind of get used to it. Hopefully we can cut in a picture of the old grill so maybe you can see the differences. This line is completely different. Of course, you've got some LED lights that are in here. You have this two-tone grill that Chevrolet has kind of gone to over the course of some years, and I really do like it. Front sensors in the front. The tow hooks are there. And I'm not for certain what these are going to be used for, but I'm sure on an LTZ model, there's probably going to be some extra lighting there. Uh, so time will tell. We'll come around here to the side. 18 inch wheels tends to be the standard on most of these trucks. This one is an upgrade for these 18 inch wheels. You're going to see that the redesign comes along here as well. One thing I think they did awesome was finally bring the Z71 badging up here. It's no longer a sticker, it's an actual logo. That is super sharp. GMC kind of took it um, a couple years back, and hopefully, people will get the idea that this thing looks really sharp. The mirror is bigger. The mirror has the turn signal finally out here on the outside. It is a breakaway mirror, as you would expect. We'll talk about this when we get on the inside. It does have blind spot monitoring that's in the mirror right here, and you'll see the logo when you hop inside. Finally, 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 after we've been screaming it for years, keyless entry that is integrated in with the key. You no longer have to take the key in and out. It has the proximity keyless entry, it's also the remotes that you used to see in this, like the style on a Tahoe. We'll get to these buttons here in a little bit. We'll open up this door here in a little bit so you can see the back side as well. You come around here, you'll notice that the back tailgate, the back tail side is totally different. The lines are a little bit higher. They do have the um, top skirt for the railing up here just like the other one does. And guys, as you notice that of course, the back tailgate and the rear end is completely redesigned just like the truck has been. You're gonna see that it's got some exhaust tips here that are different from every other model that's come out. Um, it's the dual mode exhaust, and it's pretty sweet. You're gonna see that it's got the rear parking sensors, and of course the notch step bumper that's in the back is wider, and it's a little bit more textured so you can fit your feet in there and um, a lot more grip. One thing I absolutely love is the fact that they embossed the Chevrolet Chevrolet um, into the back. They took away the logo. They still have Silverado and of course this one's an LT. A feature that I have been asking for for years is a power tailgate on the truck. And now we finally have it. So simple, so easy. The bed size is the same, but the depth is different. So you're going to fit a lot more cargo in here and you'll be able to haul everything you could want. Of course it has a power outlet in the back. And it's also got the um, LED lights already installed straight from the factory. Super light tailgate. I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into this. Shuts tight. Now let's stop and let's take a look at the inside. One thing I want you guys to know about is that Chevrolet actually has the keyless entry now that's embedded in the remote. So now you only have to go up to the car with the key in your remote for proximity keyless entry. And also it has the power tailgate function for the truck, hit it twice just like it says, and then a lower. And on the inside here, you're going to see that the leather is completely redesigned. You're going to notice that this thing has its own special cubby hole behind the seat. You simply pull the latch up, and you're going to see an awesome space behind there that I think is pretty sweet. Chevrolet finally got dents in the back. Of course, you've got two power outlets and a 12 volt adapter. The seat will rotate up, and similar to the Colorado, it has its own special cubby hole here that you can store away some things. And something you may have already noticed in this video is how much space is in this vehicle. I'm going to ask one of my esteemed colleagues to hop inside here just to show off the space. And you're going to notice that Jaden, who's of average size for males at our age, can fit inside here just fine. I'm the one that was driving this seat. I didn't adjust it any way besides the way that I would be driving. And you can tell that he's extremely comfortable. I'm gonna ask him to hop out. We're gonna take a look at the inside. 
And here's where most people are going to spend a lot of time at. You're going to see that the seats are definitely more plush. It's got almost like a bolster appeal to, appeal to it. Um, so you feel a little bit more wrapped in and secured. This is similar to what the old body style was, but it's completely redesigned. you got a special place for your phone. you got your own cup holder. you got another little cubby hole here. You also have an inside compartment. You can also take this and rotate it up. It locks into place. I can fit another seat here. And just like the other one, it has the hideaway locking compartment below uh, the third seat. Inside here, you're going to notice all the differences in the world. You're going to see that most of your four-wheel drive buttons and uh, trailer and brake controllers and stuff have been moved. One thing you're going to see right off the bat is everything's push button as far as the four-wheel drive. All your lights and stuff have moved upward. And of course, the trailering, the tow haul mode has moved from the column to here. This is similar if you're used to Chevrolet. So all your radio controls are here and all your cruise control and heated steering wheel functions is to my left. It's set up differently, but the functions are fairly the same. Of course, you got a totally different driver information center right in front. Push button start. You're gonna come right around here and you're gonna see what I think is the biggest difference. And one of my friends that works here, Manny, said that he thought this was the coolest portion of the vehicle. And I kind of agree with him. The trailer and brake controller has now been moved from your left to your right. You're going to notice it's got two different USB ports along with a scan disc port. You're going to notice all the adapters are right here. Rear parking sensors, auto stop function, the power tailgate function. Not only can I open it from the outside with the key remote, but I can also do it from the inside. Traction control and the power outlet that I showed you that was in the tailgate. And of course, uh, downhill assist mode when you're in the mountains mostly and um, the heated seat functions are here with all your climate controls. The radio control here is if you're used to some of the other models such as in the Cadillacs and some of our other ones it's going to look fairly similar. You're going to see that it's got all the icons for to easily touch. One of the features they finally implemented this moves smoothly of course is the swipe. Um, so when anytime new apps come out of course you'll be able to download them and put them on here in a swipe really simply just like in the other ones so guys this this truck is completely awesome you should take a look at it i'm going to do some more videos on the ones that come in but for the meantime find this video on our social media sites like us uh, comment and let us know how we can assist you